With Vassal Hard Fork fast approaching, there's a lot of speculation. Why is ADA priced down? Why is crypto down right now? We're going to break down Vassal Hard Fork, how close we are, and we're also going to dig into those ADA charts to try to get some answers. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Crypto Capital Venture. Thank you so much for coming by. Let's just jump into the video. This is Cardano on the weekly. We're going to start there when we when we dig into these charts. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check out Pool Tool Nodes Reporting Version. What we want to see here is 1.35.3. You see it there, 33%. So right around one third of the way there. It needs to get to 75% of pools basically reporting the 1.35.3 version. That's what we're waiting for. It's just keep an eye on this. I'll put a link in the description. It's the network health tab on pool tool. And they've really stepped up their game in terms of the interface. It's very nice looking. It's beautiful looking. So continue tracking that. It's going to be interesting to see how many days, what's it going to take, but it's, it's fast approaching and it's just been so cool to see. There's been a lot of drama that's unfolded, right? It just feels good to do a reg regular Cardano video, but it's just too cool to see Cardano blockchain chugging along, doing its thing. So let's go over here. Let's go over to the charts. This is weekly on ADA. It is what it is. It's it's unfortunate to see this resistance right here at the 200-week moving average. Even more so, kind of ugly, is the 20-week moving average basically hitting and about to cross below the 200-week moving average. On the Bitcoin charts, a similar story getting ready to happen. Uh, not quite there yet, but similar. This is what I first want to say before we even dig into what's going on with ADA. Number one, whatever happened with Testnet and whatever happened this past weekend with all the drama that has, has unfolded, it is not the reason why ADA price is down. Crypto is down. And we're actually going to look at an ADA BTC chart and we're going to see how ADA has been kind of uh, hanging in there against BTC. But crypto is down right now. And we have to put aside narratives that make us feel good or that are just easily to, easy to explain but don't make any, accent, any sense. And that is uh, everything that happened with Testnet. All the drama with, with what happened on Testnet brought ADA price down. That is, that's bogus. It's just bogus. This is why price is down. This is why crypto is down. This is S&P 500 index. It's traditional markets. It's what's going on right now in the stock market. This is a daily chart you can see Pretty much, it saw a swing high over here on August sixteenth last week. What is most concerning is what we have is what we have going on over here. If you've been watching my YouTube channel, you know I've been tracking this chart, S and P five hundred index, breaking above the twenty week moving average, and we've been talking about what happens at the fifty week. We were anticipating some resistance. This is exactly what happened in two thousand eight. I think it was May of two thousand eight before we had the huge crash. I'm not sitting here saying that we're going to have a crash as big, but this this bear market rally that you see here is extremely consistent with what we saw in 2008. And it was an exact resistance off the 50 week moving average. We have to pay attention to these charts, everybody, because this is where the story uh, begins for crypto. It stems from this chart. So uh, just let's keep that in mind. And then when we're looking at ADA BTC, you can just see ADA BTC just kind of in this range, same range it's been in for since June, basically kind of uh, along this upper trend line here, we were tracking a potential inverse head and shoulders. You remember the left shoulder, the head, and now we have just kind of this very small right shoulder. It's like it, it's like it wants to break out, uh, especially with Vassal Hard Fork getting ready to happen, everything going on within Cardano ecosystem, DeFi absolutely ready to explode. Uh, it's it, it wants to break out. It really does, it, it seems, but there's just been constant resistance at this upper trend line. We'll continue tracking what happens there but now let's let's dig into ADA USD. This is what we have going on in the weekly chart. The 20 week moving average we mentioned, if we open up the momentum oscillators real quick, this is probably the biggest concern that I have when I'm when I'm looking at these charts. It's just the fact that when we're looking at the quicker moving momentum oscillator right here, the stock RSI, you can see it's kind of making its way out of oversold or overbought now, hitting overbought, kind of starting to get some momentum to the downside off of that 200 week moving average resistance with the 20 week moving average crossing below. Now, the last time ADA did this, right, was right here, over overbought, and it was resistance. If you look at the top of my screen, it was resistance at 
that two that 20 week moving average in green so right here that that lower high that bear market lower high that we've just been dreading now if we open up this weekly chart here's what's interesting at this point when we're looking at ada on uh this weekly we are talking about resistance at the 20 the 200 week moving average in red but i mean you can just see the 20 week moving average right now touching the 200 it's basically uh, a very similar resistance at the 20 week it's just below the 20 week at this point and it's just so it's just so in line once again with this bear market story of lower highs at the 20 week moving average look at this so it doesn't mean that ADA won't break. I mean, maybe it just needs to just come down, trade sideways, because right now ADA is getting squeezed into a, a very crucial area. And that's what I want to talk about next. I'm not going to show a clip from this video, but this was earlier in August, August 4th. We were talking about this, this, you know, this momentum shift of ADA getting squeezed into a very tight spot as it makes kind of a U-turn, right? We're, we're looking for that to happen. And if we go to the charts here, this is what it looks like. It's continuing to happen. Uh, I believe in that video, I think I did the video. Let's see if I get my brush. I think I did that video probably right around here or so. And you see the the ride that we've been on since then. Support at the 20-day moving average right there, uh, around 46 cents, or, or that was around 50 cents. Got a, kind of this breakout above this curved trend line in blue. There's the curved trend line in blue. Got the breakout, fell back below both moving averages now. And this is where we are. Uh, that moving average story is is... It's driving us, it's driving us crazy as we track this bear market. I mean, it's driving me crazy. We want this like this success story for ADA, right? This because this is a story we've been tracking. It's we break the moving averages, and I say this all the time. We're looking for support and a bounce, and it's just they they fall or ADA falls back below the moving averages. So here's the twenty week moving average crossing above. We're, we're just looking for the higher highs, higher lows, and just the explosive move of separation to the upside. And we're getting the opposite once again, everybody. And it's not it's not what I want to see, but it happened. And now we're kind of at our fail-safe area of right now for ADA. And this is kind of probably a, a, a big highlight of today's video, which is to say, you see this dotted line in yellow. This is that line that we've been tracking for a while now. It, it zoom. Let me zoom out on the weekly chart so we can kind of get a, a glance at that. That's the line, that dotted yellow line that goes all the way back to 2018, November 2018. So ADA, once again, testing that area right now. You can see it on the daily chart. Here it is on the daily. This is what it looks like on the six hour. It's, I mean, it's hobbling across the dotted line right now, really, as we speak, just above it. And uh, if we look, you can ignore this white circle, but if you look even on the six hour, it's interesting because it's kind of a, even on the short term charts, a moment of truth for, for ADA because you can see it got into this oversold area off of that dotted yellow line. And we're looking kind of for at least some type of very small rally on the short term just to kind of another test of the bulls to the upside. But last swing low of testing that trend line, that dotted trend line back here in July ADA was doing something similar, coming out of oversold there. And then even back here, all the way back here in May of 2022, ADA doing something similar, coming out of the oversold on the six hour. So we're getting these like oversold six hour environments and we're looking right now for ADA to make a break to the upside. What will be interesting, because I feel like a lot of this has to do with timing of the traditional markets. This is S&P 500 index once again. How is this chart going to interact with its own moving averages here on the daily? Here's the 50-day moving average and the 20-day moving average. So on this stock market chart, this whole entire area that it's testing right now is a very crucial area of support. If it gets a bounce and starts swinging to the upside, this could be great for ADA to finally bottom out here uh, on the daily chart right around this lower trend line. But that's what I'll be watching. One thing to note, if there's more downside in play, even tonight uh, into tomorrow, we're going to just see, because it doesn't look like a lot, but this trend line down here right now from where ADA trades around 46 cents to that lower trend line, we're looking at around 10% to the downside. ADA has a little bit of a 10% fail safe cushion. That white trend line, what it is, is it's an exact lower trend line of these, these swing lows that we just talked about in relation to the dotted long-term macro trend line. It is the swing low in May to the swing low in July to a potential another swing low. It's, and it would be a higher low because you can see it's a very slightly upward uh, trend line. So 
10% cushion to the downside. Fail safe support is, is all in this area between the macro trend line dot in dotted yellow and that white trend line. So to the downside, that's what I'm looking, looking for. And then to the upside, everybody, it's just, <laughs> we haven't gotten the 20 day moving average crossing back below the 50 day just yet. There's still a possibility for ADA to just make its way back above 49 cents above the 50 day. And then right now the 20 day is around 51 cents. So 51 cents to 49 to 50 cents, huge area of resistance for ADA. That's where the bulls need to really make a nice move to. Question is, if there is some type of bullish environment for crypto as a whole, Vassal Hard Fork showing itself getting very close, is that going to play into these ADA charts? That's a question we've always wondered. We've been tracking that story of hard forks, right? We have uh, these green boxes that we've been tracking. And now here we are in a green box. We don't know exactly when Vassal Hard Fork will be here, but we do know going into that, there's a possibility for ADA to make a move to the upside. Now would be a very, very good time for that to happen. So time will tell. We will see. Everybody, let me know how you're doing out there as we start this new week. I'm really glad this weekend is behind us with everything that happened. I'm ready to continue moving forward uh, as we grow within the Cardano ecosystem. And as Cardano makes moves, uh, technically, fundamentally, with Vassal Hard Fork getting ready to get here, and it's going to be nice. The scalability is going to be nice. The explosion of DeFi is going to be nice. And uh, we're just getting started here. So we'll get through this on the charts. I hope you all are having a good start to your week. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.